This is the grade six math practice test for TN ready question. Currently number 24. Brian paid $27 for 12 gallons of gasoline to the nearest cent. How much did uh, one gallon of gasoline cost? Now I should mention that this is a calculator allowed section, which is super helpful. There's a few different ways that you could do this actually. If you wanted to, you could say, well, if I could make the letter G a variable for gasoline, I know that 12 times that amount is equal to 27. So I just need to solve, right? Here's my variable. I'm going to get it by itself. It shows multiply. So to get rid of multiply, I'm going to divide. These cancel. The reason that I had to use multiply in case, or divide here in case you didn't know, I'm just trying to get this variable alone. So say I had three times four, which we all know is 12, right? But I'm wanting to get the four back. So I would do that. And then if I did 12 divided by three, I'm back to my original four. So instead of doing that, I go ahead and do this. I'm just combining these two steps together. So these actually cancel out because three divided by three is one. And that gets me to the four much more quickly. So when I had this multiply here and I need to eliminate it, I use the opposite operation. So now I'm ready to just do a little bit of division there. And I mean, if you could give it in fraction form, you'd be in good shape or I'd already be in good shape, but it's not, it's decimal. So I'm going to actually use a calculator on this one just because why wouldn't I? 27 divided by 12 gives me $2.25. So that is the price of a gallon of gas. So that's one way to do it. What's another way that I could do it? I'll probably only show a couple ways because this thing would go on forever. Another thing I could do is, well, I mean, I have gasoline and dollars. That feels like the perfect time to use a proportion, right? So if I have $27 on top, 12 gallons on the bottom. And since they have to be two ratios that are equal, I'm going to need to put gallons down here. Uh-oh, the radial menu popped up. Um, one gallon down here, and then X here. Incidentally, it just becomes 12 times X, or you could say 12 times G. That's fine. 27 times 1. See how it always comes back to the same concept? I need to eliminate times to get the variable by itself, so I need to divide by 12 or isolate the variable, as math teachers say, and you still end up with $2.25. You should always test. I mean, there's no reason not to test if you're already using a calculator. You even have the number written here. Times 12. 27. What else could you have done? Well, I mean, if you have a calculator and it's a multiple choice question, I'm not saying this is a mathematically appropriate way to do it, but again, I've said it in other videos, the math that you learn and your ability to do it is demonstrated in your classroom or at home and how you use math in real life. This test is just kind of a tool that's used to evaluate that thinking. So maximize the value of the tool. If they give you answers, try stuff. 12 gallons should equal $27. So I'm definitely going to say, well, here's 44 cents. Nope. Two bucks, a nay nay, bingo, and 15 is like just ridiculous. I, I don't even know why you would think it was that, 180 bucks. So that's it. I'm not saying that you should do the third method, but you can. But in general, if you get lost and you have a couple different concepts, gallons and dollars in this case, maybe set a proportion. Or maybe you originally knew what the relationship was and you wanted to set it up this way. But always test your answer to make sure that you end up selecting the correct one instead of just accidentally picking this one because it looked right. And this was not a hard enough question to fly through in this.